Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Rents from Aqua. Mr. Rents. Good morning, Mr. Council, uh, Mr. Chairman, Council Members, Staff, uh, Mark Rents. Aqua, also on behalf of the Ag Urban Coalition. Um, I'm not going to take a long time. I don't have a lot of comments. Uh, much has been said before that we concur with, but I do think it's uh, important at uh, this point in time to, to uh, recognize the vast improvements that uh, uh, have occurred in the seventh version as compared to the sixth version, which was a vast improvement over the fifth version. I took the opportunity to go back and look at some of those earlier versions, uh, the red line uh, appro uh, 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 approach to them, and uh, uh, the red line version of those, each one of those uh, drafts. And it, 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 I have been able to identify uh, Im improvements. A couple of critical areas uh, where we saw improvements, but I, I still think there's great opportunities that lie ahead for the council as you, you move forward uh, uh, is number one, uh, e there has been a great deal of improvement from the early versions with regards to the governance. I think that uh, becomes uh, uh, a very critical, as you know, was laid out uh, in our alternate plan. We think one of the most, one of the cornerstone uh, uh, roles of the council is in terms of coordinator, uh, and facilitator and integrator. Uh, and while we're uh, appreciative of the recognition of the Interagency Implementation Committee and uh, as, w as well as some recognition that the, uh, uh, that the role of stakeholders is, will be encouraged in, uh, in various uh, working groups, uh, we encourage you to take every opportunity to look for opportunities for the stakeholders to work with you work with your interagency uh, implementation committee as uh, as that as that uh, strategy rolls out and is developed. Uh, second area where we saw uh, some significant improvements that uh, I think will be absolutely critical as you move ahead is, is the the role of science, especially that you uh, noted uh, the science development of the science plan. As we have said all along, science in the end will uh, it will be a, a great. Uh, will be a critical element and uh, greatly needed by you all and others as you make policy decisions. Uh, appreciate the recognition of that. I think one of the big challenges you'll face, and you already have recognized it in that report in part, is how, how do you deal with, coordinate, and integrate the array of ongoing scientific efforts? Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of science come, for example, out of the BDCP, a lot of investment in science there and elsewhere. Uh, and so I think that will be a, uh, a critical area for you all to deliberate on as you, uh, as you ask yourself uh, how, that, how you, that element plays out. Um, and there, there are still issues that we have concern with. Uh, we've identified those in the past, and uh, we believe we'll need further refinement as you move forward, and I encourage the council to take on those issues and look for opportunities to refine those. Uh, I want to use an example that Mr. Zlotnick uh, brought forward earlier because it's one that I've brought forward on several occasions that where I, where I think it's just a great uh, I, uh, example of where further refinement, deliberation, and direction is needed, will be needed from this council, and that's uh, the inclusion of uh, cumulative or cumulatively uh, impacts uh, on page 54 of your draft. Uh, from my perspective, and I've said this numerous times before, this has a potential to be an extremely uh, challenging element to satisfy as uh, uh, covered action proponents are, uh, are doing their analysis. I think it requires early on, uh, early discussion, deliberation amongst the council. What is your intent? What, is the mean, what do you mean from that? What is your expectations? Uh, I think if you talk to anybody who spent much of their career dealing with either CEQA or NEPA or both, uh, they will reflect that always one of the biggest areas of challenge in doing those type of uh, doing plans under those uh, laws has been developing an adequate uh, cu cumulative impacts analysis. So I encourage the council uh, uh, to, to look at these elements and provide direction that the staff can develop uh, guidance uh, for or uh, that they can report back to, to the, the uh, uh, council as it moves forward. Again, we appreciate the opportunity. Uh, it's been uh, to uh, comment throughout uh, the development of this plan, and we acknowledge the improvements that have uh, taken as we've gone through this transition. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Rents. Thanks,